Okay, folks, listen, Memorial Day is coming. Listen, this is my favorite time of the year, right? Because you know what? We finna get out there on them grills. We finna do whatever we gotta do. Have a lot of friends and family on. Listen, I'm not finna ramble, but I wanna tell you guys, look, these barbecue, uh, these barbecue green beans is fire, folks. We finna focus on the sides. Let's get it. All right, so listen, I'm gonna go ahead and do a flyby over these ingredients. It's not a whole lot of ingredients, folks. You guys can get them everywhere. And look, I even covered it. We're gonna do them with, you know, fresh green beans, right? So look, we, obviously we got fresh. We can come on down here like this. Look, got W sauce. We gotta have the bacon. I already diced up some onions. Brown sugar, ketchup. Look, when you see brown sugar, ketchup, and the W sauce, tell me what we making. You guys let me know down in that comment section below. All right, over here. If you pay attention, look, these are just two cans, right? I suggest you guys, you know, do four cans. I'm gonna give it to you like in a little small batch. Just double this recipe. All right, look, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat this oven, right? I'm gonna hit bake. We're gonna do it at 350, and then we hit start. By the time this come up, I'll be done over here on the other side. All right, folks, so look, this is what I'm gonna do. I got this thick cut bacon right here, right? Let me read this to you. Cherry wood thick cut. I like this right here. I'm probably just gonna cut them in just take two and cut them, you know what I mean? So if it's still cool, which is all right, you know what I mean, no, that's what you want. Cause when it get a little more like room temperature, it get a little bit on the slimy side. I thought this was uh, two, but it's not. This is actually just one. Now, you guys want to cut these whatever size you want to. I like to cut them a little big cause you know we're gonna get a little bit of that shrink, shrinkage, right? I'm using kitchen shears. Sometimes you guys see me on the uh, cutting board. You know, I do them there. You know what I mean? But the cut, the, uh, the shears is the best way to go. All right, so now we working. Look how big I put these down. I'm gonna be quiet so y'all can hear that sizzle. All right, so look, this is what I want to show you. I got two cans, right? Obviously, you know, they're in their own liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them. I'm gonna tell you why I like to use canned green beans. Reason being, if I use these fresh green beans, we gotta go ahead and boil them for at least 10 minutes. And they tend to be a little bit more on a bland side. I like just the way these taste, you know, flavor-wise, but you can use these, you know, here, I can just do it. You know how to do it. Just take this, take that little piece off, snap it as many, I'd say just do it three times with it, get it for you. You know what I mean? Then we have to like boil them for 10 minutes just to get them soft. Now, meanwhile, we cooking our, uh, our bacon, right? Our cut bacon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my green beans. And I don't know if you guys heard that right now, but that was my oven, it's up to temp, right? So now I'm gonna just move this around like this. I don't like to like crowd it. That's why I use the dish this size because I wanna have a little space, right? So once we make the sauce, we'll have some room to like, you know, toss them and have them like that. Then when we put it in the oven, to bring them up to temp and to make that uh, barbecue sauce set, that's gonna be fire, folks. Trust me. All right, so when I get my bacon to be a little bit on the close side, right, then I wanna go ahead and just add, you know, my onion. Now you're gonna get a little sizzle because you know onion ain't nothing but water, right? Flavored water, you ask me, with a little texture. So we'll use this to soak up some of that bacon grease. This is how we build layers of flavor, folks, right? And if anything ever stuck to the bottom of it, Along with this grease, the acid inside of this, uh, inside of your onion is gonna help you down on the bottom, picking up some of that fine, folks. Now you guys let me know down in the comment section below, but we already talked about, you know, can versus, you know, flavor. Tell me, can you see it? Cause you gotta visually know it before, you know, you, you'll actually try it. But uh, trust me, I didn't tried it with fresh. I prefer the can better. All right, folks, look, I just turned the fire off. This is what I like. See a little color on my onions? That's cool. Now I'm gonna move this over here because I want to drain some of this oil. But I want you guys to just see some of that bacon, you know, fat. Once I get it over here like this, you know what I mean? Let me get me a pot holder. But you can see, I just want to remove some of that. Once I get that out of there, look, we finna make this sauce, put it on. And then this is a very, very fast dish to make. All right, folks, so listen. Drain some of the fat. You'll see just a little bit in here, right? So I turned my fire back on. I'm starting to bring, you know, my heat back up. I'm using about a medium flame, right? So you can hear it. Pan was already still a little bit on the hot side, right? So now I'm gonna add my W sauce. We just wanna put in about, like about a tablespoon, right?
And then I come with my, come on baby, there we go. My brown sugar. Then you wanna let this just simmer once I get everything broke up for just about, uh, just two or three minutes, you know what I mean? Just enough to melt that, you know, your brown sugar. And this right here is what you're gonna wanna have. Don't forget we put them onions in there. Don't need no whole lot of seasoning, no nothing like that. Just trust the process, folks. You know what I mean? And you guys let me know after you make it. Don't come back and tell me nothing before the end. Make it first and then come back. And all you're going to say is, A.B., I got you, fam. You never steer me wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and take my fire off. I probably went more closer to two, I mean, three minutes, if anything. I did just hit it with a spoon. I tell you, this right here is fire. Now, don't forget, this pairs with everything. I don't care if you're doing barbecue chicken, ribs, uh, brisket. This is what you want to have. Oh, look at it, though, folks. Come here. Come here and look at this. Somebody come here and look at this. Look at that right there. You see how I cut that bacon? Now, nah, that way when somebody gets some bacon, they know they got some. Mm. All right, folks, so now I'm just going to take it and just start adding it into this right here. Look at the color, though. And you don't need no whole lot. So remember, if you double the recipe, it should still be the exact same. Right? Man, I'm all losing it on the side. But we want to get it all. The reason I didn't just dump it in there, because look, I'd have had to use my left hand and my wrist is not as strong as my right hand, because I'm right-handed. All right, so now when I do this, See, if I'd have used a smaller, you know, dish, you know what I mean, it'd be all bunched up like that right there. But we want to make sure that we get it all coated, right? So this is why I like to use like a larger, like a 13 by 9 or something like that. This is actually not even a 13 by 9, but this just happened to work. But a 13 by 9, especially if you're doing three cans or you're doing four cans, you're going to have to do it like that, right? But look at that right there. When I say barbecue green beans, this is what I mean, folks. All right, so one more time, folks. I'm going to show it to you just like that. I'm already heated up. I'm preheated already. I'm at 350. I'm just going to put this inside right now. All right. Now I'm getting ready to just set myself a timer. I'm going to say, let's start off with 15 minutes. All right, folks, look, my timer just went off. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I did take a peek at it. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and hit stop. I'm going to open this up like this, pull this out. Let me get this down. And I want to show you a nice masterpiece. Look at that right there. Man, it smell great. Look at that. Yes, sir. All right, folks. So listen, I'm getting ready to eat me some of this. Now, with it being the holiday, we outside for the first time. That's mostly the first time we all get out here for that big holiday, right? Memorial Day. So listen, if you got barbecue baked beans, these go great with those. You know, it plays along with that, that theme of that barbecue. Don't forget, we gotta have that potato salad. You know what I mean? Uh, gotta have that barbecue chicken. We could do grilled chicken, whatever you wanna do. And no, you know what? The number one thing I'm forgetting? Ribs, folks. But look, just so that I ain't going down that and doing all that over talking and all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it just like this. Let's get another piece of that bacon. I want you guys to come in there and take a look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Check it out. With that being said, cheers, y'all. Oh. <laughs> hey, folks, look, I gotta hurry up and, you know, wrap this up, because this right here is one of my weaknesses. You know what I mean? Uh, I do have some potato salad. It's in the refrigerator. You guys know the potato salad I'm talking about, the one with the eggs on it. Now, with that being said, listen, I want you guys to talk to me. Let me know what you think about this. You know what I mean? After you try it, please come back. Or let me know what, what you would do to level this up when you make yours. You know what I mean? Even before you make it. So, with that being said, listen, I'm not finna over talk you. Listen, if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna take this time to say thank you for watching me. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna put this on a plate, I'm finna get that potato salad, and I think I got some uh, chicken in there too, and I'm finna eat. And guess what? I'm finna exit that way. I'm out. Peace.